I'm Derek Landy. I am the writer of Skullduggery Pleasant and Skullduggery Pleasant playing the fire. And um, I'm here to answer questions. Hi, Derek. Um, first question is, um, what is your idea of perfect happiness? I don't have one yet. I'm working on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good start. Tricky question. <laughs> Uh, what keeps you awake at night? The monsters under my bed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, um, I don't really worry about things. I'm not a worrier or a fetter. I'm, I just basically take everything as it comes and I, nothing really keeps me awake at night. Cool. Apart from all the noises. What is your greatest fear? That I should take this for granted. Um, uh, that I, I become lazy or, or just... You hear about you know, people who, who achieve certain things and they let it go to their heads and they stop being who they are. So uh, yeah, my greatest fear is becoming an idiot. I don't want to be an idiot, so that is my greatest fear. That and like frogs. What has been your most embarrassing moment? Haven't had one yet. I haven't had an embarrassing moment that would qualify, uh, you know, on that scale. But um, I, um, the more public appearances and the more, you know, high profile things I do, uh, <laughs> I'm sure pretty soon I'll do something hilarious and stupid, and uh, then I'll be able to answer it. That question. And what is your most treasured possession? My most treasured possession is either the pulse rifle from the movie Aliens or Christopher Reeve's Superman cape from the first two movies. They would be my most treasured possessions. And what is your favourite smell? My favourite smell, wet. A dog. Yes, yeah, yeah. What is your guiltiest pleasure? Really bad movies that I know I should not watch because I know they're gonna be awful, but I always end up uh, buying the DVD anyway and putting it on and then going, yeah, 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 this is rubbish. So, um, but I s s still do it. Uh, yeah. So. What is your greatest regret? That I wasted so much of my time in between my, you know, being around 20 and being, you know, and getting to uh, pierce points. So many years were wasted uh, and I, I didn't take control of my life for so long. So um, uh, that would be that would be all those missing years now. Yeah, that I I won't get back, but um, I'm making up for it. Uh, what do you consider your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement is possibly the first movie I wrote. Um, the book Skullduggery came about because I wrote the book and my agent took control of it and she uh, brought it to the publishers so uh, and getting it edited and getting it out there that is a complete a group effort so um, it isn't really that's my phone going I should have really turned <laughs> it off um, so my my yeah so that wouldn't be my achievement that would be a group effort but yeah my first movie is something I did alone completely so that would and that started me on this road so yeah cool uh, one piece of advice to someone who'd like to follow in your footsteps um, piece of advice um, write and make sure you have fun uh, as long as the writer is having fun writing, um, it will, no matter what it is, what it's about, 
it will it translate and it will come off the page. Um, and, and it's what I do. I'm, my only criteria for writing and the types of things I write is that I will have fun. And if I'm not going to have have fun, I'll, I'll be work it until I do. So yeah, basically have fun. It's me fighting. And if you had a superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, if, okay, if I could like choose whatever superhero's powers I would take, it would probably be Wolverine's and his, his uh, the fact that he doesn't age and he doesn't get sick and he recovers from everything. Uh, I mean, I don't get sick, but you know, he, he's brilliant. And also, claws would be nice.